breathlessness worse from exertion. Again, report to the with edema in the legs. Dry cough at night, worse when lying down. She so catches cold from quite easily from suppressed sweat. She sweats profusely, especially with her respiratory complaints. Bowels is constipated, hard. The kidney function is compromised. Urea levels, I'll pass the report around urea levels were high, creatine levels were high and she was anemic. Back pain, worse than sitting, better by lying. She likes cold food. You know, food which is served warm, they want it cold. I've shared with you top remedies for that, I'm sure you have taken it into account. Phosphorus, Thuya, Silica, Calcadia Group, Pulsatilla. Food which is served warm, they want it cold. A pizza, you want it cold. A curry, you want it cold. Desire for cold food, give a lot of importance to that while case taking. Desire for cold food, cold drinks. She sweats quite a lot. More on the head. Urine burning at the onset of urination. Sometimes she gets bleeding gums. She gets frequent acne, weepy, fearful of darkness, fearful of thunderstorms. Sleep is okay. Stress incontinence, did I mention that? Stress incontinence, whenever she coughs, there is involuntary urination. Frequent cramps in her legs. Frequent abdominal pain in fasting, empty stomach. Father had a family history of cancer. Frigid jal cook khan, thanda jal khan. Sheet kale? Major com complaint when she came to me was the breathlessness and the compromised kidney function with the edema in the legs. With the medication, the urea and creatinine levels have almost come down to normal. I saw her in November. Two medicines came up in my mind at that point of time. Number one, if you have a look at the symptoms, cough worse on lying down at night. With the respiratory complaints, what you got, cough worse on lying down, you got that at night, sweats a lot with the cough and in a patient who has edema in her legs. You with me? Very good. Open your body care Al Allen's please. Sambucus nigra. Sambucus nigra. Whenever the patient tells you, my friends, and you know, these are the key clinical tips which you should, should take back. Patient is telling you, I do not sweat much. But whenever I have the respiratory complaints, my sweating increases manifold. If you look in Allen's or in Borike, you will find it mentions profuse sweat. Borike in introduction, if you are in Borike, act especially in the respiratory organs. Profuse sweat accompanies many affections. 
we got that and by many affections to be honest the only affection is respiratory you got that everyone yeah. introduction first second line profuse sweat accompanies many ailments respiratory if you have a look second line paroxysmal suffocative cough coming on about midnight you got that night aggravation if you look in the introduction dry cries of infants edematous swellings you got that edematous swellings you saw the blood reports how it was high with both the parameters it's i think it's almost normal right now you with me so those are the symptoms of sambukas in the case please please use this remedy for such chronic conditions as well cough night cough patient sweats with the cough patient has edema in the legs second one honestly coming up as a constitutional remedy anyone is phosphorus aversion sweet you know phosphorus has aversion to sweet they like chocolates but they hate sweets desire for cold drinks cold food fear of thunderstorm fear of dark phosphorus has both of these edema phosphorus can be edematous you understand what i mean so those are good symptoms of phosphorus in the kids thank you bleeding gums phosphorus is a hemorrhagic remedy bleeding gums it covers that as well easily catches cold tubercular remedy you should take care of the recurrent cold as well to be honest i was very you know itching towards prescribing phosphorus but i thought let me prescribe some bukas first because you know he is showing so much emphasizing on the profuse perspiration some bukas is more edematous to be honest than phosphorus i put a note that a need phosphorus later on and started with some bukas 200 c right thankfully i haven't needed anything after some bukas because 200 c was the only prescription in november and you saw her blood reports i didn't expect to be honest it would come down so quickly it has come down a cough is better shashkoshura kama chit padar pura pura i don't need this near is not there at all papula papula nahi swelling is not there at all as well mukh phule jit swelling in her face swelling is completely gone kashi kashi aur thanda nahi hai swelling ekon hocche shukno kashi na cough hocche there some dry cough now kokhon hocche More at night, still the same modality as Sambukas. How much did you manage? I don't know how much. How much? How much? Three days. Cough was not there. She got a cold about few about a week back. The cough has resurfaced again. Two hundred C Sambukas was the prescription in November. We boosted in December. I saw her in January. I boosted as well. I'll prescribe a Sambukas thirty C today, considering that with the same modalities, the cough is back. A thirty C of Sambukas should take care of that. I don't need to prescribe any other remedy because Sambukas can take care of the cough as well. It's an acute as well as a chronic remedy, so it can take care of this acute state as well. Okay, with me? I'll drop to thirty C. I'm prescribing Sambukas thirty C today. You see, whenever you have some peculiarities like this, give emphasis to that. And sometimes, to be honest, I was not sure if some bookers will work or not. I was thinking, should I go for a deep acting phosphorus? But you understand that these are PQRS symptoms. I sweat only with the respiratory symptoms. I sweat only when out of breath. You won't find that with any remedy in the Metro Medica. Only some bookers like that. And you see, it topples even a polycrus like phosphorus when you are considering a PQRS symptom and you are prescribing on that, right? Sambukas 30C today, and obviously I put a note 
phosphorus may need may come up later on uh, if needed. But hopefully, Sambukas can take care of the state. Sir, due to the presence of cup, cup is still persisting. There's some cough there. Yes, she was better since last seven days. With the change of weather, the cough has resurfaced again, and it still has a night aggravation. Potency should be dropped. I'm dropping to 30C because it's an acute state, right? And 30C can take care of the acute cough.